Hello viewers, welcome to another episode of my DIY project. Today this will be a different uh, video or a different episode because uh, it's been a while since uh, I posted the last DIY project and it's regarding the uh, bag that I bought for the Honda Rebel. But uh, after, you know, like two weeks ago, I had some issues with uh, my Harley. I, for whatever reason, it won't start. And I've been trying to um, find out what could be the reason. Chinek ko na yung spark plug. I check all the wirings in the battery compartment. I even uh, removed the this part the starter or this housing compartment and it's still showing the same uh, problem so let me show you what I've been I'm talking about so let me start the engine so as you can see I have a full battery all lights no issues I can hear the cycle of the engine when I turn it on now let's put the engine switch here as you can see you can hear the cycling and then when I press the start that's what happens try to start again so it's firing off but for whatever reason it's not engaging the you know the full start so as you can see uh, as you can hear you just hear the click and it stops so I don't know what the issue could be now I have the um, what you call this the fuel pack uh, uh, diagnostics and it tells me that the wires are open the turn signals are open and it's because I rewired this part and I just used uh, the electrical tapes to wire it together and so in this episode what I'll show you is uh, how to solder the wiring and then, you know I'll show you also how to remove the seat and what's inside or under the seat and I also bought so aside from the uh, soldering um, machine or soldering uh, iron that I got I also bought this um, shrink tubing assortment and for this one I will use it instead of the uh, electrical tape that I use and then I'll run the diagnostics again see if the diagnostics says uh, turn signals are open hopefully it won't and try to start this engine again hopefully it will start if it doesn't maybe it's time to bring this uh, back to the dealer and have them take a look at it so that's what I'm gonna do for now and let's start uh, uncovering the seat so once you remove the screw at the back or I remove the wiring here because what happened is that uh, when I remove this uh, CC bar somehow you cabling under here was uh, broken so no line signal for it and so what I did is I rewired it and when I rewired it I just used the electric tape to put them all together and when I do the diagnostic test in the fuel pack it says third signals are open and I don't know if it's related to why the engine won't start because uh, according to some forums there's a computer module inside 
and sometimes pag hindi magandang wiring or wiring is broken it won't start kahit na turn signal lang ang problema so that's what I'm trying to try to do and hopefully that is the only problem so as you can see it has three wires one for the turn signal one for the running light and one for the ground so three wires we try to use or try to solder it instead of just using a uh, electric tape and then we use this uh, shrink wrap so this is my first time so let's see how I do it After you solder it, that's when you do the shrink wrap or you heat it up and then it will shrink and you don't have any more issues. Okay, so let's get up the soldering iron. Make sure it's first, make sure it's fitting. There you go. We're done. Now we're gonna wrap it and test it. Make sure it's gonna work. Shrink wrap the last one. There you go. Everything good. Nice. Now let's put them all together here. And let's start the engine again. Make sure it's gonna work. Okay. There you go. So it's still lighting up. Blinkers on. Blinkers on. Cool. So, wala tayong nasira. We did it correctly. Okay, so the last thing to do is put back the seat. As you can see, we're not successful in trying to figure out if the wiring is the issue of this motorcycle. But, we need to put it back. And probably I'll bring this to the dealership. I don't know what the issue is and uh, we'll go from there so anyway for those of you who have not or has not uh, removed or put back the seat of a Harley this is so simple uh, as you can see this is the original Harley seat nagkabit lang ako ng uh, passenger or pillow seat but to put it back as you can see there is a tongue here that you just need to insert in here at the end, here there's a big bolt that you need to just put in here. So the technique is put the tongue in, push it in, and then look underneath, make sure that the bolt goes inside the hole, and then once inside, you pull it back. That's how simple it is for the Harley seat removal and attachment. Make sure you just tighten the screw and you're good to go. Sometimes 
nobody has to bite their brakes so much and this is not fully uh, uh, tightened up natatanggal to it happened to me once already so I make sure that it's tightened good enough just you know use your hand to tighten it you don't need a screwdriver or not a screwdriver or you don't need anything to tighten this up so that's how it is now folks and uh, thank you for watching and uh, I'll keep you posted on the issue with my bike and I'll see you around